right, man, let's make sure today now. Hey, let's compete today. We, we can participate, see what happens. We can compete and make things happen. This is a compete and make things happen. Team, this is a compete and make things happen day. Execution, energy, let's play fast, let's play fast, let's have fun. We good? Yes, sir. Let's go. The UTSA Roadrunners entered Saturday's contest with the Georgia State Panthers, hoping to put an end to a three-game losing streak. The Roadrunners Kenny Harrison returned the opening kickoff 40 yards, setting up UTSA with great field position for their first possession of the day. The snap comes back to him. He sends everybody out in the pattern. Now field for Armstrong. Great catch at the 40. Makes a cut at the 30. Makes a man miss and finally comes down at the 25-yard line. And the option play for Sosa being chased from behind, outruns the defense and scoots down to about the 10 yard line. Quarterback Eric Sosa quickly moved the runners to the Panthers 14 yard line, but an errant throw on third down would lead to a Panthers interception and bring a promising drive to an end. And not only does UTSA not sit, get six, they don't even get three on what was a very good drive to start the game until that point. Both teams struggle to gain any traction on offense in a fierce defensive battle between two evenly matched teams. became the first team to manufacture big plays on offense early in the second quarter, starting with a 28-yard scamper by quarterback Kelton Hill. Panthers would be the first to hit pay dirt when running back Donald Russell reversed field and scored for the runners 24. Gets a block. He's got the 20-yard line to the 15, inside the 10. He's going to get into the end zone for a touchdown. Very rarely do you see the uh, player being able to come all the way back to the other side. He did that time after everything was contained to the left. It's a 24-yard touchdown. A stalled UTSA drive would result in a missed 50-yard field goal attempt by kicker Sean Ayama. The Panthers would quickly capitalize on the Roadrunners' miscue on a long strike from Hill to sophomore wideout Albert Wilson. He'll walk into the end zone for a Georgia State touchdown. He beat the defender on the right side. Eric Souza and the Roadrunners continued to struggle, but did manage to close the half with an Ayano 30-yard field goal. Snap is back, and Sean's kick is good. Our energy, let's keep it up, guys. Let's keep it up. Let's get some, get some energy. Let's make some things happen. Guys, we're going to win this football game. Please stick together, play hard. Stick together, play hard. Make some plays. Offense, defense. Special teams, let's go. Let's be a team. Let's really be a team and finish this thing right, all right? Yes, sir. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. In a game where defense ruled the day, the intensity picked up on both sides. The Roadrunners defense stepped up to the challenge even without defensive stalwart and emotional leader, middle linebacker Stephen Kerfus, sitting out with a knee injury. On special teams, Eric Brown delivered by blocking kicker Christian Benvenuto's 47-yard field goal Snap attempt. Snap is back. Kick is on the block. It's got him. It's batted around around the 25. UTSA will uh, let the ball die right at the 22-yard line. And a good block for the Roadrunners, and they have got a stop that they needed. The UTSA offense would finally get in gear, starting with a 15-yard dash by all-purpose back Brandon Armstrong. Trying to rip the ball out. He gets all the way to the 45. 15 yards for Brandon Armstrong. Souza continued to drive when he hit one of his favorite targets, tight end David Morgan, over the middle for a gain of 16 yards to the Georgia State 13. First time we've called David Morgan's number in a while. He snuck out from that tight end position. Running back Chris Johnson capped off the drive going untouched from the Panthers' nine-yard line for the runner's first touchdown of the day. Big lane for Chris Johnson, and he has finally found the end zone as a UTSA roadrunner. And it was just a matter of time. Following the Johnson touchdown, Larry Coker made the bold decision to go for two to bring his team within a field goal of tying the and game. here's a rollout for Sosa into the end zone. Caught! Two-point conversion successful. Brandon Freeman, I think, is the one that caught it. 
A determined UTSA defense continued to shut down the Panthers' attack. Gun snap, back to pass, looks downfield. Now uh, still looking and fires, and it's incomplete. Intended for Cam Jones. Larry Cooper chose flag. to There's go for it on fourth down deep in his own territory, following a non-call on what appeared to be a Georgia State pass interference penalty. Coker's gamble failed to pay off when Eric Souza and wide receiver Kenny Harrison were unable to connect. UTSA's hard hat defense would force another Benvenuto field goal attempt from 48 yards. And just like the previous two attempts, the Georgia State kicker failed to convert. Following the missed field goal, Eric Souza connected with receiver Brandon Freeman at the Panthers' 30-yard line, giving kicker Sean Ayano an opportunity to tie the game with time expiring. The snap is back and the kick is on the way and it is good! Ayano's clutch field goal from 40 yards gave the Roadrunners momentum heading into overtime. And for the second time that we played a game in the uh, Alamo Dome three weeks ago with South Alabama, we're headed for extra periods. Got gun snap, he fumbles the football, picks it back up, now in trouble, running it for his life, batted up in the air, intercepted. Intercepted by Burge, I think that they say it hit the ground. Unable to pick up a first down, the Panthers once again called on their freshman kicker to the attempt a 48 yard field goal. Good, but to the right, and it is no good. Wide right, UTSA defense is held, and they got a chance on this next possession to potentially win the game. The runner's offense took the field, knowing they would only need a field goal to secure the win. Powerful running back Eben Zocaccia hammered at the Panthers for three short gains, setting up Sean Ayano for the game-winning field goal attempt. Snap is back. The kick is on the way. And it is good. And that's a win for the UTSA.